what I do is not only for myself. I do it for other people. I do it for this moment, this opportunity. Everything that I create is not for myself. I create it for my future kids, my, you know, for the people who look up to me, for the people who can relate to me, my story, for people to be inspired. That is the reason why I do what I do. That's the reason why I'm here today. And that's the reason why I'm blessed. Because whatever I do is way above me. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? This was just a dream, man. I'm nervous. I'm nervous as hell. Like, what spoken word artist is coming back to uh, his own high school pet rally or even a pet rally period? It's like, it's like one of those feelings. Like, oh, you know, it's like I wonder, like, how would they treat me? You know, would I get that much love? Or, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to expect. I've never been in this position, and especially like you know, high schoolers. So the thing about it is like, I'm nervous because one, I used to be sitting right there and from ninth grade to 12th grade. And I always wondered how, how, how am I gonna be able to come back to the school and give back? Do I have to be a football star or something like that? Because everybody who came back to the school, I was been like an athlete. It has been not a, a normal person a working citizen or anything like that that actually came back and you know gave back to the school that i know of or actually came to a pet rally and everybody went crazy for it. i'm a poet do poetry do spoken word and for me to come back and basically bless them with my presence and be blessed by their presence also is a beautiful thing and Right now, I'm curious to see how they're gonna, you know, treat me and if they're gonna listen to me. So we'll see.
always, I imagine myself performing or doing something, you know what I'm saying, to give back. But I never imagined myself actually doing it or being today or this soon. And um, it was cool, it was a cool experience. You know, I'd love to come back and do it again. You know, next time I come back, I, um, you know, give something away. It's a blessing just to be here. You know what I'm saying? This shows how far I came. You know what I'm saying? And it just, it just, it's just a good spirit, you know. Um, City Grove, in my opinion, is the best school. Um, it's real. It's real. There's a lot of kids that go here that's into the arts. A lot of kids that's in, out here that's very talented, and they basically need a voice. And over these years, they've been showing it, and people have been appreciation, appreciating their voice. So I'm happy to be an alumni from Cedar Grove. It's the best thing. Best thing. Um, these halls, I used to run these halls all the time. The craziest story that I have is um, I used to have a, a guy named Mr. Van Leer, and basically he was a, um, a guidance counselor, and his hall, his room used to be straight down here on the right hand side, the last door. I had, um, during the years, you know, he used to be showing me like different things, what to do, Next up, he was in drama club with me. I had in 2013 when I graduated, my father died the next month. Came back to Atlanta, found out that he died too. So, this is classroom right here. Well, his office is old office, I'm sorry. But, I used to be in like 12 different clubs. I used to be in a club called FBLA that changed my life. It's Future Business Leaders of America. And basically, I was around a lot of people of different ethnicities and, um, and nationalities. And just basically, that's, that basically taught me how to communicate with different people and appreciate different skin complexion and different cultures. And also, meanwhile, doing that also be a professional, you know, in the business world. So, yeah. In here. In here is a cafeteria. Like, there's a lot of stuff be going on, food fights, uh, every fights, you know what I'm saying? Over here, man, we used to sneak over there, get extra meals. It's mad crazy. It's love. Uh, basically, I never catch the bus out here, but since I be chilling out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, this whole school changed up. And it's a beautiful feeling, it's a beautiful thing for me to come back. I'm happy that I'm here. I appreciate for everybody who came up. Christian Anthony Desmond. Christian, I said Christian twice. Christian Anthony Desmond. Shanti. You know, my sister and everybody. I appreciate y'all. You want an autograph? Oh, no! Now, we get an autograph. Can I punch me in the shit? What's going on, mommy? You all right? Hey. What are you doing? What are you promoting your your Yeah, I promote my brand and also I just spoke a word, you know, for the pet rally. Don't even do it, bro. This man, <laughs> Don't even do the it. original <laughs> person, bro. This okay, man been performing with me you. since, what, 2014. And this man is the original person that started out with me. He been disappearing for, for who? For whatever reason. I feel it. I can feel it. But at the end of the day, man, it's our love. And he performed with me at a pivotal moment in my life. So, I appreciate you, bro. Make sure you get one.